You know this is. That's why you've tuned in. It is what it is, isn't it? Let's just go through a few things here. I'm going to blow a bit of steam off here. I've got an old school, and I? A few bags of Skittles. Shouldn't really do that. It's a local shop where I'm from. Uh, what I allowed to sell me when I was younger. Because obviously they were a bad seed. You know, I'd get some Skittles down me and then, you know, my, my mum and dad had cop it for about eight hours when I got in. <laughs> but uh, I like Skittles and uh, I always say my mind when I've had some. What do I really think about this Sky Nicholson carry on? You know, I have guests on channel who speak about it, but this is what I really think about it. I think she's a networker. Going out with a boxing promoter. I think Eddie's a bit out of order. Going out with her. Everybody knows he's left his missus for her. Everybody in boxing knows. What is he, 17 years older than her? Look, I just think it's seedy. Really seedy. Uh, it's a conflict of interest. And that's what you're up against, isn't it? So I think it's bad. I think it's real bad. That's why you don't come out and say anything, isn't it? It's bad and it's seedy, and there's a lot and it goes on in boxing. Uh, she's nine and oh, one KO, can't punch for toffee. She's now a world champion by email. That's what you're up against. That is what you're up against. What do I think about Dave Caldwell breaking down in his boxing news interview? Well, in my opinion, Dave Caldwell's breaking down because it's missed opportunities from him, isn't it? That's my opinion. I don't believe all that he wishes best for his fighter that left him. Uh, I don't believe that at all. That's because I know people who know Coldwell very, very, very well. Uh, I think them tears are for himself. That's just how I look at it. I don't care what people think. That's just my opinion. I know what boxing people are. 99% shithousers. <laughs> so that's what I think on that. Connor Ben going and meeting uh, Simon Jordan you know, for this secret meeting. That wasn't secret. Eddie Earn will have known about that. So will Tony Sims. You actually think that Connor Ben didn't tell his promoter, his paymaster, about that? Uh 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 uh. Eddie just couldn't do it. He couldn't go through with it, could he? They've had to. What they've had to do. They've had to smooth it, haven't they, with talk sport? They've tried everything else. They've told one lie after another that lie after another lie since last July. They've tried cover-ups, him and that callous Howland. They've tried cover-ups. They've tried to hide things from us. Uh, they've got this massive dossier, 270 page, that's now a 40 page dossier. Uh, they've just tried about, they've tried everything. Strict liability, jurisdiction, changing stories, you name it, they've done it. They've exhausted every avenue and Eddie's pulled what's left out of his Maury's wig. The air's on it. You know what I mean? Needs to get some more wig glue. Uh, I think it's a mess. It's been, out. it's been badly dealt with from day one. And that's just my opinion. People don't like it. F off. I don't care. I'm not here to be everybody's pal like Sam Jones. He's me pal. He's me pal. He's a good friend of mine. He's me mate. Oh, Michael Conlon's his mate now. Oh, right. Oh, but I had Jordan Gill uh, to lose. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. Listen, Sam, every time there's a fight on, you give an opinion for both guys to win. So whenever somebody wins, you've always got the story right, haven't you? You're a fence sitter. But you're everybody's pal. He's me pal. He's me mate. Load of crap. Load of crap. Now they're wheeling you out on Boxing Social so you can defend Eddie, your new paymaster, and uh, Joshua. Well, of course you're going to defend them where Wilder's involved. Look, Joshua don't want the Wilder fight. You know that, Sam. But you're not going to say that, are you? Stop being a monitor lizard. Sam Jones, you are the biggest monitor lizard at the moment in boxing. You know what I mean? And if I didn't think Weapon at Week was so cringe, I'd bring you back as Weapon of the Century. You're embarrassing. Totally embarrassing. Male arsehole liquor. That's what you are. A male arsehole liquor. If you've got a problem with that, come see me. All right. 
Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Do I really think that Luda Bella and Amanda Serrano had take step aside money or they worked some out with Eddie Hills to get a few quid out of the job over this belt that's gone all of a sudden gone missing and it's landed on Sky Nicholson's lap? <laughs> I won't put it past them because normally you'd see Luda Bella screaming from the rafters, wouldn't you, about anything like this? WBC, well, we be crooks, in it? Jamie Moore's interview, what do I think to that? Well, I don't see the same energy that I saw after the Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor fight. But then again, where does Chantel Cameron go without Katie Taylor? She needs her. Otherwise, she'll be fighting for five times as less in UK rather than in England rather than fighting over there in Ireland. And Katie Taylor needs Chantel Cameron as well. So they've got to fight, but they'll probably do Serrano fight now, I think. But uh, I don't see the same energy from Jamie Moore as we were all hearing, you know, a couple of weeks back. So that's where it goes. They've looked at it and they thought, you know what, we better not rock the boat here. These are fighting men here. They've had to bite the bullet. Like I've said before, and I'll say it again, this is the only sport where the lions, which are the fighters, are scared of the rats, which are the promoters and the managers. That's just the way it is. So, what do I think about Crusher walking around at 175? Well, he's walking around at one pound heavier than what the Cobra used to walk around. So, is Crusher now a super middleweight? Maybe. Why don't you call that David Benavitez? Because if you started calling David Benavitez out, what would happen? Everybody would be screaming blue murder, wouldn't they? Well, if you're saying, if you're saying you'll fight people... From 147 to 168, you're going to get criticism, aren't you? Eh? It's just lip service for paying lip service. A bit like Canelo, isn't it, really? Fighters are picking and choosing now. People are making fights on social media. Like Liam Smith and Billy Joe WhatsApping each other. Yeah, let's have a fight. Let's get a pension fight. What is all that about? <laughs> What's that about? Eh? That's unbelievable, isn't it? Not as unbelievable as Bellew with all his punches that he texts to Ed. It's just lies for clickbaits and, you know, views and just getting yourself out there. Let's tell a whopper and just see what happens, isn't it? That's what's happening now. Unbelievable. Unreal. But uh, Dylan White, what's happening with him? Is he coming back? Is he still suing WBC? His head is still suing Jake Paul. Does anybody sue anybody? Hey, do they? Does anybody I'll just chat about it? I'm suing, I'm taking legal action. You might speak to your lawyer about it, but do you actually put your hand in your pocket and sue anybody? I've done that a couple of times. I'm one and one in suing. <laughs> uh, one and one. But, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. It's disappointing. And you've got people like Sam Jones, who's supposed to be these next gen of people in boxing, coming out, licking male arsehole. I'm not wanting to upset anybody. None of them have got an opinion, have they, really? It's me pal, it's me pal. That's all we ever hear. And he's a good mate of mine. How many times have you been to Michael Conlon's house for Sunday dinner, Sam, in Ireland? How many? I bet you can count it. On one on one finger, and I bet you still got a finger left, haven't you? Hey, eh? you aren't, have you? He's a good mate, of man. Look, just because you text somebody a couple of times and you see him at shows, doesn't mean you're good mates with him. He probably thinks you're a prick when you walk off. Look at that, Sam Jones. What a licker! And that's what it is, licking. And then we've got the self, the sense of entitlement from people like Nigel Ben. Oh, my God, I was willing to fly from Australia to Tenerife for three grand to do an evening with Mr. Millionaire. Listen, we all fall on hard times, don't we? But we know what's going on here, don't we? The father's on Skid Row and the son's heading for Skid Row. That's the bottom line. They need Chris Eubank more than Chris Eubank needs them. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. But we're not allowed to say anything, are we? If you say anything, you're a hater. Porky, you're a hater. 
Well, this is how I look at it. Crack on, because every time that ice breaks, I'm going to be stood there waiting. I'm not going to be a sellout like Simon Jordan. I can't believe that Simon Jordan sold out. Can't get it out of my head. Not only has he sold out, he's going for a charity game, a game of darts with Eduardo Hills. Hey, eh? so he's gone from being bounced around the studio in two two meetings with Eddie on Talksport, like like summit meetings, and he's lost both. So now he's me pal. Let's have a game of darts, eh? Why didn't you say, Connor? I don't want to meet you at the Dorchester to be softened up. Let's do it on talk sport. That's all we want to see. That's all we want. Doping, what's the answer? Well, doping. Jesus. It's a joke. We all know it's a joke. People are now declaring themselves innocent. You know. What do I think to three minute rounds for women? I think it's good. Are they gonna do it? I don't know. Who cares anyway? Who really cares? The boxing border control. I think we've come to and remember this what I'm gonna say now. I think we've come to a stage now where promoters are now saying, Do it what's the point at border control? What is the point of them now? They're not they're not really needed now, are they? It's uh, I think boxing's moved on. And maybe it's for the best. I know we all we're all saying that Robert Smith's doing well with this Connor Ben thing, but they're being messed about, aren't they? The, the Ben's lawyers, Ern's lawyers, whatever you want to call it, they're running rings around it all. It's changing by the day, and the board must be pulling their hair out. They're they're, not, they're old and set in their ways. Have not moved on, have they? Boxing's itching to move on in it now, like football with R and that. We need changes in boxing, don't we? And Smith and Company, they're not. They're not. They're not. We're not moving with times, are they? And I think with this Saudi movement thing going on at the moment, I can see border control just being not relevant. Uh, that's how I see it. And a lot of people are like now, well, we want to work with them in Saudi, or we want to work with you, Bank or Ben, and what's going to happen if that fight happens? And the board are saying people can't work with them because they've done something with Ben fight, and everybody's up in arms. Nobody knows who to work with. So, and kind of like boxing's at a bit of a standstill, standstill at all levels, from basic level, you know, from the shows that are going on with like four or five fights on with very limited fighters. And, you know, you've got guys with 20 losses fighting guys with nine and 10 wins. From that level, all the way up to world level, it's stagnating because everybody wants pound notes. They're all greedy for money. Majority of them are all on sick anyway. <laughs> They all want the free gratis, right? They all want the free gratis. And they're all parked up, aren't they, waiting for a phone call. They're either 9-0, 10-0, 11-0, 12-0, waiting for Queensbury or Matchroom, or the 20-0, when they're waiting to go to Saudi. That's where we're at. They're the goals now. If we can get to 12-0, we'll get a nod from promoters in the UK. And then if we can get to 20-0... It's Saudi, here we come. So let's not fight anybody and let's just pad records out because losing records look crap on a poster, don't they really? But if you've got a 20 and 0, 18 and 0, 22 and 0, no matter who you've fought, always looks attractive, doesn't it? And that's the end game at the moment. That's the mentality. Nobody wants to fight anybody. Can somebody tell me who's having a 50 50 fight at the moment? who's below British level. There ain't anybody, is that It's padding for the sake of padding. That's what's going on. That is what's going on, I'm afraid, boys and girls. That's what's going on. Do you rate Dalton Smith, Porky? Yeah, I do. I rate him a lot. Is mental health an excuse in boxing if things don't go your own way? We've covered that many times. You know it is. Too many people are using mental health through. I don't want to hear it. I won't have it in my company, that mental health. Them mental health excuses. Go away from me with your mental health excuses. You know my opinion on it. You know what I mean? Go away. And then people who are saying they've got mental health, but over the smallest things, I sometimes wonder how they get through with their lives. 
but they do. I seem, I seem to know people who are really successful, and as uh, soon as they get a little blip and things don't go their way, mental health kicks in. Oh, mental health, mental health. And I know people who are on cheekbones of their arsehole, not got two pennies to rub, rub together, sat around, sat around a cup of soup on a night time, struggling to put eating on, and you don't hear a murmur out of them, just get on with it. What happened to people having having a bit of something inside them, a bit of toughness? Eh? Stop whining. Mental health, do me a favour. Go do a year on basic in Moorlands or, you know. Go do some porridge, that's what I say. And you'll, you'll know about mental health then. You can get through that. I'm not saying that because I've done plenty. I've had more porridge than Goldilocks and three bears. But... It's not to brag about, but go get some porridge done and then get back to me and talk about mental health. You know what I mean? Do I see Angano Fury happening? <laughs> Same person asking that question again. Uh, I think it'll happen again, yeah. They did have a rematch close and it'll, Fury will look at it as money left on the table, won't he? That's how I look at it. Uh, what did I think about Joe Calzaghi's reign of terror with WBO? I didn't think anything about it. I've only got to go and look on look on box record at the state of it. Do you know what I mean? It's uh it's a joke. An absolute joke. Do you know what I mean? Uh Kel Brook, is he gonna fight again? Yeah, you don't think Flex is not gonna let him fight again. They're gonna to wanna to ring as much as they can out of him until he's talking like uh Dave Allen. That's the bottom line. So what do I think about that gully, Boxing King Media, being a serving policeman? That's his business, isn't it? If people want to have him in the gyms and get stuck up him and stuff like that, it says it says a lot what them people are about, doesn't it? So that's my opinion on that one. Do I like Carl Frotch's channel, Frotch on Fighting? Yeah, I do, yeah. Who's going to tell him? Oh, you can't say that, you can't do this, you can't do that. Who's going to tell him? I ain't like to tell me. Who's going to do that? He's not going to tell Cobra, are they? He's going to do his own thing. Here. Nobody's going to stop him doing his own thing either. Who do I think will win Premier League? I think my team, Liverpool, will win it. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But boxing's going through massive, massive changes now. And like I said before, and I will say it again, there's a lot of arse lickers. And I mean ginormous arse lickers. These people are not ordinary arse lickers. They are super arse lickers. Super. They are superhuman arse lickers. They need to rinse the mouth out, mouth out with TCP on a daily basis. You've just seen it unfold in the last few days. We've got trainers bubbling in interviews about former fighters just for a few column inches and just to get themselves out there. Hey. Mr. Penfold, isn't that right? Hey, so Mr. Penfold, unbelievable, unbelievable. Hey, now they can turn it like that. It's not so long ago we had him on a billboard, didn't we, Penfold? And we know what for, don't we, Penfold? That's not going to go away, though, is it? And certainly not now after the last couple of weeks. Uh, 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 and you know that, Penfold. So, what will be, will be on that one. Is Bellew coming back? Well, Penfold will want him to come back, won't he? Hey, we can get them 25 bags of fight. He'll probably come back, Bellew, won't he now? I think so. What is he, 41? Got a bit of a profile now, Art at Jungle. Imagine doing that to get a few quid. Hey. <laughs> Imagine doing that, what he did, just to get a few quid. Hey, brassing yourself off like that. Yui says he don't get two fucks. And he's coming back to take over. Well, I'd like to see that. Come on, Yui, you can do it. You've got to be more active. You can't be none of this stop-start nonsense. It's no good. So, is Ben Shalom going to be at Sky next couple of years or when his deal's up? No, he'll be gone him. You don't think they're going to have him still at Sky, do you? Eh? He's about as exciting as a wet fart, isn't he, really? That's what I think. But we're not allowed to say that. Uh, uh, 
Right, Dennis. Oh, Russell, you can't say that. I can say what I want. Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me, Big Ron? You? Your ticket deals. Do me a favour, Ronnie. <laughs> Big Ron. Hey, you know they call him Big Ron because his ideas are big. He's always got something bubbling, hasn't he? <laughs> unbelievable. Talking about people that are unbelievable, it brings me to the ginger one. Old Steffi Ginger Armpits Bull. How are you doing, Andrew Bullcroft? What are you on with? I'm sorry to hear that Terry Arker's trainer's left your gym. What's all that about? Hey, who's going to train her now then? Who's going to run your gym and who's going to train Teddy? Is it going to be you? Huh? Eh? What's happening with Bungarda rematch? You've got a rematch, haven't you? When's that happening? You need to put that right, don't you? Don't be running from rematches. I bet Eddie's thinking, I can't believe it. We've done a rematch for this fight and they want to go in a different direction. Eh? Because they got knocked out so they can't hold a shot. What do you do? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll jump up free weight divisions and we'll win a world title. That tells you what women's boxing is. It's pish. Absolute pish. Could you imagine somebody like featherweight, super featherweight, getting knocked out as a man and then stepping up free weight divisions because they haven't got a chin? Ah, oh, we'll step up free weight divisions and get a world title. That's how easy it is to get a world title now. Eh? That's how easy. Women's boxing, pish. No wonder Savannah's not interested at the moment in women's boxing. It's pish, isn't it? Eh? And in belts out to people, nine and old, can't punch and fought dinner ladies. Eh, we'll just give a world title. What does that say about the sport now? What does that say about the WBC? That's supposed to be the green belt. Eh? That's why we don't have British titles for women. Because it's pish. Absolute pish. There's an handful of fighters that you want to watch. And that's it. There's not, there's not even 10 women fighters you'd want to watch as the... It's pish. What's happening with drug testing? Eh? Are they going to test them all? Eh? Has Lauren Price been tested or Caroline Dubois? They seem to throw a lot of punches, don't they? Are people getting tested? I want to know. I think they're freakish output them too, aren't they? But it'll all come out in wash, won't it, if any women are cheating. But at the moment... Are they even being tested? That's all we want to know. And is it fair, the testing process, what's going on? Well, we don't know, do we? We're all kept in dark. It's what we don't know, isn't it? It's what we don't know. But am I being harsh lately? Well, I don't suffer fools gladly. None. I've got no patience whatsoever. None. I fire from it. I'm not one of them people. Like Dennis, scheme not scream. No, I tell it straight. And that's what you've got to do. We can't be sat on the fence or sat thinking, oh, I'm not going to send out because I don't want to upset this person. You know what? If something's not right, you've got to say, do you know what? This ain't right. And do you know what? I ain't letting this Conor Ben situation slide. No way am I letting this slide. You've got people doping. Hey, and then strutting about, thinking the ten men, calling everybody out, but fighting nobody, calling Boots any sound. He'd light Conor Ben up. He'd put him on Button Moon with Mr. Spoon. That's what he'd do. He'd put him on Button Moon. That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? They're calling him out. Unbelievable. It's about money. It's not about legacy, it's about money Kelbrook, Khan pay-per-view no belt Liam Smith, Eubank, pay-per-view twice, no belt Liam Smith now wants Billy Joe pay-per-view no belt what is that about? I could reel off loads of fights like this unreal but that's where sport the sport's going and You've got to blame TV companies for allowing it to happen. And you've got to blame fans for allowing it to happen. Do we hear Tommy Fury calling anybody out at Cruiserweight? He's in box rep rankings, but is he calling anybody out at Cruiserweight? No, he isn't, is he? He's a misfits man now, isn't he? 
that's the way to go now. We've got Paul Smith advising Darren Taylor. Look, they're going misfits route now. They're all jumping on bandwagon, aren't they? Hey, they all want some of the some of that slice of cake, don't they? Whatever happened to our graft? Whatever happened to hard graft and going and getting a ranking and working your way up? Which brings me to Josh Warrington. Where is he heading now? I mean, his dad's flip-flops from the two main promoters in country twice each now, aren't he? Well, it's round about that. They're going nowhere, are they? Begging bowl out for Lee Wood fight. That ain't happening, that fight. That's not happening. If Josh Warrington had any sense now, you know what he'd do? He'd just keep plodding on, take small money, and work his way, work his way up the rankings. Just take small money. Drop down your price that you're wanting to fight and get some wins on board. Because when what last, how many wins has Josh Warrington had in the last six fights? How many? How many has he had? He hasn't had that many. Has he had one win or something in recent times? He needs to get some wins under his belt and get a ranking and go again. That's all. It's not hard. He's got the profile. You just got to drop down with what your expectations for finances. And then you get back in mix. You can't just keep losing and losing and say, I want this amount of money. It don't work. It don't work like that. Boxing doesn't work like that. I think Josh Warrington's in wilderness. I think he's maybe not on the slide. I think Lee Woods probably on the slide more than him, but boxing's a 12 round fight. It's no good saying you're winning every round and then you get took out. It's a 12 round fight. But they'll have to be careful of the match Lee Wood be now because he looks like he's finished to me. But he's got the equaliser, hasn't he, Lee Wood? But not that long ago, Gavin McDonald stopped Lee Wood, isn't it? So you've got to give Lee Wood credit for coming back from that. But if you want belts and you can't get a fight, go the mandatory route and put the hard grafting on the hard road. There's no shortcuts. Everybody wants a shortcut, don't they? Yeah, I'll just text so-and-so on WhatsApp and we'll arrange it like that. It doesn't always work like that. There's obstacles in way. Put the hard grafting on the hard road. All right? Go on, okay. okay. We've got Terry on now. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. All right. Hope you like the thumbnail. Booyaka. <laughs>